It's going to do a very quick video on how to in increase the speeds when you're exporting or rendering a video in Filmora because as we all know, rendering a video in Filmora can take so long and nobody has time to wait for hours and hours and hours while it's exporting. So here are a few ways that you can speed up the process. Um, I'm currently using Filmora 8.7.6, which is an older version, but I'm sure that these the tips that I'm going to be giving you is also going to apply to Filmora 9. And um, these are just things that work for me. I cannot guarantee that they're going to work for you, but they work for me. So here you go. The very first thing that you want to do prior to exporting is you want to click this. I'm pretty sure you, most of you guys know. It's like this play button right here, and it says render timeline. This is not the only thing that that you can do, but this is the first thing that you can do, okay? The second thing that you can do that is really gonna speed up your exporting process, especially if you don't have a top of the line uh, PC or laptop, is shut down any and every unnecessary programs that you're using, especially if you're on Windows, absolutely do not use Chrome. Don't even surf the internet while you're exporting the video don't even touch it it's like chrome is so memory intensive so just go right here and look at everything that's using memory or cpu and shut it down if you're not using it shut it down firefox shut it down internet explorer shut it down paint anything that you don't use like skype anything that you know uh, starts upon startup or any kind of programs that you may have running in the background that you don't need just I guarantee you this is going to make it a lot faster like you want to literally shut down anything and every don't shut down Windows processes obviously but you know oh okay okay so that's the second thing that you want to do seriously shut down all programs and do not even surf while you're exporting if you're gonna open even one or two Chrome windows it will slow down everything significantly that's the second thing so render timeline shut down all programs and task manager and once you're inside the task manager what you can also do is click on uh, the CPU button and you can also click on the memory tab, those tabs, it will arrange the programs in ascending order as to what is using up the most memory, what is using, what's the most CPU intensive. So the programs that are using up the most CPU and the most memory, those are the ones that you want to shut down first. Okay. And secondly, when you're actually rendering or exporting, you can also click Control Alt Delete, and that will show you how much CPU and memory Filmora is actually using during the exporting process. So if it's like at 100%, thing, you know, you know I'm sorry, but file. your computer is go to settings, I... enable GPU. You want to select that as your graphics card. Okay, that's the third thing, and the fourth thing that I like to do. Is you want to download this program called CC Cleaner, and you before exporting, I go and I um, do a custom clean, and just clean up unnecessary files. But I think the memory dumps help. I, like I'll empty my recycle bin, clean up, delete temporary files, clipboard, memory dumps, all of this stuff. Okay, so those are all of the things that I do, and I notice a significant increase in speed when I do all of those things. So to recap, you always want to uh, render a timeline. That by itself can take some time as well. If you have a long video, it can take time, but that's number one. Second, Control Alt Delete, shut down any processes, any programs that you're not currently using, just shut it down and do not use the computer while it's rendering. Do not listen to music, do not go to Spotify, do not go to YouTube, like do, do not touch your computer, do not have anything open, like no, you should be, uh, oh shit, you should be shutting down every, every program that's open, like I don't have all this stuff open, you should be shutting it down completely. 
And then third, make sure that you have um, GPU enabled. And I think that's it. Oh, and CC cleaner as well. They clean up all the, the memory files, empty your recycle bin, and all of those things together will make your uh, video render faster in Filmora. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you found it helpful, please like this video. Thank you for watching.